guys, this is Linda here, and I'm going to um, leave a link below, and it's on what the government shutdown's doing to the Native Americans. Um, now, the government's always been in breach of trust with the Native Americans because they promised them if they moved to a, an allotted place of land that they would be given gold, money, and not once have they ever gave, given any nation that I know of, um, money. And and it's acquiring, uh, the, the government's actually acquiring a big debt and interest on the money they owe the Native Americans. That's why they'd like to get rid of them. I think they owe the Mohawks in the First Nation, um, I don't know if it's three trillion at this point. Um, so, and remember, this was supposed to be paid in gold. They're, they were supposed to get land and gold so they could take care of themselves and, you know, become productive members of society. But what, what eventually happened is they left them on the reservation, never gave them any money, hired federal employees to come and, you know, hand out their little medications and their little bit of food. And actually, federal government is the biggest employer on an Indian reservation, a nation, a nation of people. They have been sanctioned from day one, like we're being sanctioned now. Now that's shut down, and the Native Americans won't have anything. They're not going to have heating assistance. Um, so they're not going to have anything at this point. And I'm asking if you live near any of them, please do what you can to help. Um, because, hey, Kenny, you're in the picture. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm going to leave a link below showing you what it's going to, you know, what nations are going to be affected and don't you find it funny that the federal government employs most of the people on i mean most of the employees there on a native nation is employed by the federal government that's a very conflict of interest and what corporate engines do go over to the side of the federal government end up selling their own people out and keeping the money so um not all, but most. And they're called corporate engines when they do that. So all I'm saying is um, they're the poorest people here in the Americas, and we need to all, you know, see if, if you live near an Indian reservation, not the casino glitchery one, because if you think Indians had the money to start casinos like that with all the neon signs, you are nuts. You really need to check into a place. Um, so they do... Now, oh, a lot of money, because the government talked them into it, a lot of them, they thought that they would, there's a lot of things that go on with the casinos, I don't want to get into it. Anyway, um, some nations, they do get their little paychecks. I know how much the ones down here get, and it's not enough to live off of, and they do need the government to help them. Now, if, you know, if things were freed up and they could do what they want on their nations, a lot of things would be better. But there's always federal bureaucrats, and they're furloughed. So now there's no heating assistance when it, heating assistance, and it's snowing on some of these nations right now. You know they need fire, they they need electricity, they need clean water, and they need food. And um, wow, isn't it scary to have to depend on the government that much? And if you live on a reservation, you do. And um, it's terrible. And I think right now what's happening is. The punishing the people so that Obama can play golf and fly around and vacation and his wife can make whatevers and, and we have to see Harry Reid and Pelosi and all those fascist faces on the TV or I see them on the internet, I don't have a TV, is a crime. And um, so sanctioning the people, it starts at the poorest and it'll work up. Um, let's help those poor people, please. I'm asking anybody near a native reservation, please help the peoples because um, the government is not going to help them and uh, we're going to have to start helping one another too um, they want to hurt the people we will survive this let's do this and survive this and I hope the truckers I saw the truckers are going to insist that some congressmen step down and I wish they would try some of the I think they all need to be tried for treason at this point no not one lot not one congressperson or senator doesn't have a lobbyist and that president is bought off by how many banks? I think they all need to go. They've sanctioned the United States of America. And now they're going to grip us in fear so they can put on more, take away more of what we, the people, have. 
and that's called terrorism too. You guys know that. I've been preaching this. Um, and if any trolls get on this site today, just overlook them. Um, I see. I, I see that I'm getting trolled quite a bit now, um, and I know that they're attacking some of you, the people who comment. And I'm sorry about that. Um, I guess that comes with the territory. When we start speaking the truth, the trolls come out. Thank every one of you. Love, peace, and truth. And I just wanted to leave this link below about what's happening to the Native Americans. And I love you all. Linda's out.